Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand types of operating systems. The basic concepts related to operating system has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, what are the different types of operating systems? There are different types of operating systems. One is batch operating system multi programming operating system and multi processing operating system the first of its kind is first of the uh, first of, first of operating system is batch operating system this is a very olden uh, type of batch uh, operating system so what happens in the batch operating systems is the program that we want to execute whenever the we want to execute a program that program has to be given to the computer operator so we as a programmer or we as the user of the computer we cannot directly access the computer so we, we are going to have an operator so that program to be executed has to be provided to the operator now in the same way all the programs that we want to execute it has to be provided to the operator now what the operator will do is the programs with for example assume that there are 10 different types of programs program 1 program 2 program 3 so there are four, five different types of uh, programs are there so it, it is these five different programs are provided by five different users so they want to execute they want their programs to get executed on the computer now what they will do is they will provide these programs to the operator computer operator now what the computer operator will do is he will prepare these programs if the, he will identify the similar type of programs so those programs will be grouped into batches so batch 1 batch 2 in that way for example if you think that the the operator thinks that p1 p3 are of same type p2 p uh, p4 and p5 are of same type now this batch will get this batch of programs will get executed for the efficient utilization of the computer resources what happens is the batch by batch the programs will get executed and once the program is given to the operating system for example if the program is given to the operating system so uh, we have to wait until the execution of that program completely so the program has to execute for example if p1 is provided to the computer so the execution of this we have to wait until the complete execution of this program okay once that the execution of p1 is done then we are we have to execute p2 because they are in the same batch sorry p3 because they are in the same batch as they are of same type so the utilization of the resources is done efficiently that is the reason why they are made into batches so this kind of operating system is what we call it as batch operating system the next type of operating system is multi programming operating system these are very modern type of operating systems so what this the, the operating systems that we use these days are multi programming operating system the name itself states that multiple programs will get executed simultaneously at a given point of time multiple programs will get executed so that is what we call it as a multi programming operating system so we'll try to understand it by using a real real world example for example if you take your laptop and on that laptop you are trying to do something on the word document while writing a letter for example if you are writing a letter on the word document so on the while writing a letter on on the word document we can listen to the music so here word document is a program listening to the music music player is another program and parallelly we can download the movie also so while writing a letter we can listen to the music and simultaneously a movie can also get downloaded so three different jobs are getting executed three different programs are getting executed so that is what that that kind of operating systems which make the the programs to execute simultaneously multiple programs to execute simultaneously is what we call it as a multi programming operating systems okay so our concern and one more point is in the multi programming operating system we will be having only one one cpu one we will be having only one central processing unit so having only one central processing unit how multiple programs will get executed
executed so that we will try to understand in our next class because our entire course is based upon this multi programming operating system so the entire course is based upon this concepts of multi programming operating systems so the detailed explanation about multi programming operating systems we will try to understand in our next video so the third kind of operating system is multi processing operating system so the name itself is stating that it is having multiple processors multiple processors so as we are having only one cpu in the same way in the multi processing operating system we will be having multiple cpus multiple central processing units will be there so a single program may execute on multiple processors or multiple programs may execute on multiple processors so try to get that a single program may execute on multiple processors so the operating system is designed in such a way it means that on a, a single program can get executed on multiple processors so that kind of operating system which is facilitating multi processors which is which is capable of facilitating multiple processors is what we call it as multi processing operating systems okay so these are the different types of operating systems hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching